The sense of touch is important for providing us with information about our environment. We rely on touch to identify and discriminate objects and we use tactile sensory information for controlling walking. The cutaneous feedback that we receive from the soles of our feet allows us to modify and correct our steps according to the ground we walk on. In my laboratory we use the mouse as a model system to investigate how neuronal circuits shape touch perception and how this sensory modality interacts with the output motor system. Because of their normal habitat in underground cave systems, mice rely even more than humans on their sense of smell, hearing and touch to get around. We have now identified neurons in the mouse spinal cord that receive touch information from the skin as well as signals from the brain to help coordinate motor movements. Touch is first detected by sensory neurons that innervate our skin. These specialized peripheral neurons send the information from the skin to the spinal cord where the information is already processed and relayed to the brain. The spinal cord is divided into a dorsal region where interneurons receive and integrate the arriving somatosensory information and into a ventral region containing the motor neurons that connect to the muscles. But by far the least known components of this circuit are the ascending neurons that relay bottom-up information to the brain, which was the main drive for this project. In a previous study, we identified a subpopulation of dorsal neurons marked by the expression of the transcription factor ZIG2 that we postulated to specifically receive mechanosensory information and transmit touch information to the brain. In our current work, we have addressed the function of ZIG2 neurons in this circuit. By generating a zig 2 cree line and using the intersectional genetics approach developed by Martin Goulding from the Salk Institute, we were able to manipulate zig 2 neurons specifically in the spinal cord and address their contribution to particular behaviors. We either ablated or artificially activated zig 2 neurons in the spinal cord and with this we were then able to observe that mice became either less or more sensitive to fine touch stimulations. And we could see that by monitoring their paw withdrawal reflex when we brushed the soles of their paws. This is likely due to a local spinal cord circuit in which ZIG2 neurons connect the sensor information to the motor reflex. But we've also seen that ZIG2 forms an ascending projection from the spinal cord to the brain. By genetically labeling ZIG2 neurons in the spinal cord, we were very excited to see these long processes entering the brain and synapsing on the dorsal column nuclei of the brain stem. This pathway called postsynaptic dorsal column projection is known to bring processed tactile information to the brain and to be important for fine touch discrimination. To test if ZIG2 neurons are required for the discrimination of textures, we developed an assay in which mice are able to explore a two-chamber in the dark that differ only from their floor textures. And while control mice tend to spend more time in the chamber that is covered with a rough sandpaper, mice where ZIG2 neurons were ablated tend to spend equally amount of time in between the two chambers, suggesting that uh, these mice have problems discriminating surfaces. We then investigated the synaptic inputs of spinal cord ZIG2 neurons and we have observed that they also receive top-down information from different brain areas that have been traditionally associated with motor control. We saw that this interaction in between the two neurons that transmit uh, sensory information and descending motor control could be important for regulating challenging motor tasks. Indeed, mice can cross elevated narrow beams relatively easily, but we have observed that mice with reduced tactile sensitivity have more difficulties performing this task. They make more mistakes, which leads them to foot slips when they try to cross these narrow beams. In conclusion, 
The work we published in Neuron describes a spinal cord circuit involved in touch perception and fine motor control. We have identified a population of neurons that seem to be key players in the transmission of sensory information and integration of motor modulatory input. Understanding how these elements cooperate to generate an appropriate motor response will be a major goal for the future.